Hello and welcome to Total Body AMRAP 4. I'm Katie Hunt, your ACSM personal trainer, and AMRAP stands for as many rounds or reps as possible. What we do for these workouts is I'm going to provide a quick demo of each exercise and how many reps to do, and then you're going to choose your time. I would suggest starting with 10 minutes for a beginner, 15 minutes intermediate, and go for a whopping 20 minutes if you're advanced. Our first exercise is a side lunge and hip hinge. Begin in an upright position with the dumbbell in your right hand. Step wide with the left leg into a side lunge, bending the knee and shooting your hips and butt back into a side lunge. You're going to hinge from the hips forward, so your torso is coming forward, and then step up and together, rising all the way back up to that upright standing position. Notice the leg that stays behind is remaining almost straight, but I'm not locking out my knee. Make sure you drive hard to stand up through that leg that steps out. Also notice you want your knee to track right about over your shoelace on the leg that steps out. I would suggest if you've got a small space, you could just alternate sides going to 20 total. Or if you've got a little more room, take 10 strides one direction and then 10 strides the other direction. Keep that spine long throughout the entire movement. All right, let's meet on the floor on our back for a chest fly and leg lift, another compound exercise. You'll want two dumbbells for this exercise. Begin with a dumbbell in each hand, palms facing each other, with your heels or your legs raised towards the sky, feet over your hips. Then make sure your head is resting on the floor and your low back is pressed firm into the ground. So I'm going to lower my head down here. Keep those knuckles lined up right over your chest, and then arms and legs are going to go at the same time. So you're opening up the arms wide, keeping a slight bend in each elbow and neutral wrists. Keep those dumbbells lined up right over your chest. The tendency is for them to shift more to being over your face. You don't want that. You want to keep the work in your chest. Simultaneously, the legs are lowering towards the ground. Make sure you keep that pressure between your lower back and the ground as firm as possible. It can also help to think about sinking your belly button down heavy towards the floor. You can make the motion with your legs smaller or even bend your legs at your knees to make this less intense. Do 10 of those and then roll up to a seated position and hang on to one dumbbell. We've got 10 seated rotational presses next. Start with the dumbbell at your chest, seated upright with straight legs and flexed feet. You're going to lean back, keeping that dumbbell at your chest. And then as you come back to that upright position, you're shoulder pressing that dumbbell up towards the sky. Keep it a little bit in front of your head and you're taking it off to a diagonal. So how I'm counting these is a lean back and a press up that's one. I'll give you a few more counts to have make sure that this makes sense. So this is one, press to the side, lean back, two. So you're pressing each time that dumbbell goes overhead. I would also suggest exhaling each time that dumbbell goes overhead. Keep your chest lifted, spine long. Notice I'm not letting my shoulders or my upper back round forward throughout this movement and keep challenging yourself to lean back as far as you can. Now all you've got to do, my friend, is set that timer, get to work, and make sure you keep track of your rounds and reps so that you can test yourself again in a week or a month and make sure that you're improving. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the next workout.